And welcome to when this eventually uploads. Um, this will be a little bit of an interesting thing. Uh, let's play Final Fantasy Maelstrom. That's what the M means. Episode one. So I got to thinking, like you know, first of all, Hrothgar. So well, first of all, so at this update, um, when this uploads, I guess this can be seen as like a little. Like, a uh, vision into what's going currently going on with the Final Fantasy XIV Let's Play. So, no, I'm not actually a Dragoon. I just have all the jobs unlocked, pretty much. And, well, not even pretty much. I have them all unlocked, but... You know, this is the level that he's at right now. Um, but I figured, hey, you know, Hrothgar? You know, I love him, but, um, I can't... Uh, put a hat on this guy for some stupid reason. And then I was got to thinking, hey, there is technically content that, um, we have not actually ever seen. So actually, I'm gonna quit. Because I want to do movies in title, the opening movie, and then A Realm Reborn. I'll just talk through this. Um, but since there's that stuff that I have not seen, and I wanted to kind of see how the female thing, you, you see where I'm going with this, female models uh, look like, and to see how the helmet looks like. What if I were to do... Oh, uh, let's play for E. You know, three let's plays. So, what I so what I'm gonna end up doing is Maelstrom. There will be a third one. Being um, you know, it'll be Final Fantasy fourteen uh, A. Sixth and most recent astral era, the Northern Empire of Gollumall amassed a great army at the heart of Eorzea, seeking dominion over all. Rising in desperate resistance, the forces of the Eorzean Alliance met their would-be conquerors in the field. Yet, even as the battle raged, the lesser moon, Dalamo, was plucked from the heavens through imperial machination. From its core emerged the elder primal Bahamut, who unleashed his fury upon the realm. The devastation brought Eorzea to its knees and the era to its end. Five years have come and gone. The light of life still shines upon Eorzea. Man labors tirelessly to raise himself from the calamity's ruin. The realm is forever changed, a stranger to him once more. Yet heedless of what lies ahead, he shall press on. Spurred by the promise of peace and prosperity. So what I'm thinking is, I'm, so my main class is Dark Knight in Final Fantasy now. Um... <clears throat> In other words, there's a tank, so I'm thinking I want to do a healer main. And, um... It's DPS main. 
So there's another one, Realm Reborn. Because this is, you know, we're starting Realm Reborn, so. So this is going to be a copyright hell, but. What is that glowing tower in Limsa? But yeah, so I have to basically make a decision what healer and what, um... What I ended up thinking is I kind of want to use Machinist for ranged physical. And a, um... Astrologen for my, uh, healer. Oh, so this is teen rated game, so no blood. Because it was either that or maybe Thaumaturage, like, fully. That's not how the songs work, I don't think. So what I could do is I could do, uh, I said, I could do White Mage. I could do, um, but the thing with that is, if I want to do a ranged physical, then I'm going to have to do bard, right? So if I want to do bard, that means that I would be doing the Order of the Twin Adder. So... And what I want to do is I want like a complete like lore specific thing. So that means I want to do uh, Bahamut before Heaven's Word. And I want to do, um, uh, you know, Alexander, Omega, all that stuff before moving on to the next thing. And also, you know, this stuff is free, and hopefully, I hope that my retainers and the two mounts that I've bought uh, will stay. I am not 100% sure that they will. I, the retainers should, but the uh, mounts will probably not. I am going to be making this on a different server, and both of them will be on different servers from each other. It'll be whatever the road to 70 is. So what I'm thinking is for Limza, we're going to have to go Arcanist, and then we're going to have to go, you know, do Scholar. Up until I can unlock our, um, Astrologen. Because I figure, like, hey, I kind of want to do Astrologen for Healy, because it's either that, or I can just wait till Sage, but, uh, no. 
And um, I figured, hey, I'm doing Dark Knight already as my main, because I love Dark Knight. And I love Dark Knight's story. So let's do Astrologen. And then um, if I'm doing Astrologen, then I should probably go and do... Um, So rest in peace, everyone else who didn't get taken. I did entertain an idea maybe being a Lollafell uh, at some point, but um, I'm probably going to do that with PS4. What I kind of want to do is I kind of hope that a female Hrothgar is released. I think it will be at some point, and like maybe not, probably not Endwalker because we'd probably be known. But, um. Hi, Odin. I'm kind of sad you can't play 1.0. Apparently 1.0 was legitimately just Final Fantasy 11. Let me turn off my heat though. Okay, so we're gonna start with Arcanist. Let's see, so. New character. I really hope that the kid. That, um, so, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a female Makote. Uh. 
look. See, here's the thing. I'm not 100% sure. No, okay. Um, let's actually, like, designer. I'm considering maybe making her like a uh, crystal from um, Monster Hunter Frontier because that was a person. But probably not. a lot of hair and because also part of the thing is like hey by the way we can actually use hairstyles on you and your hair is not your face I actually like that. And I like that. Uh, I know that the large one is probably more accurate to a cat, but... <laughs> I'm gonna give her the alleg, uh, the eye of alleg. Let me just say, one thing I like is that the nose types are, like, specific. Yeah, actually. Now that is going to be a thing that I have in all my characters. I am not okay with that.
I don't like any of them. I know that your voice, uh, your actual voice, is like never used for anything, but still, that doesn't mean I have to like it. <laughs> oh boy. Sounds too Japanese, which I know it shouldn't be a bad thing, but just like the whole anime manga genre just like repulses me for some reason. I don't know why. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's okay. I want to make sure that it is saved. Oh fuck, the save slots are messed up. Oh well. Um, they're all gonna be my actual birthday, so that would be the... Let's see, one, two... Second Umbral Fourth. Yeah, let's go with that. So, uh, if you want... Oh, uh, job close. So this is showing... So this is kind of... I, I don't want to say it's misleading, but um, it, should, it would be nice if it told you what they turn into. And that is not the gladiator armor. You know, I remember when this choice meant so much. To me, but now it's like, oh, well, duh. Yeah. So that is the Paladin level 50 armor. That is the Monk's level 50 armor. That is the Warrior's level 50 armor. That is the Lancer's level 50 armor. You can already tell a big difference. Archers, level 50 armor. Um, white mages, level 50 armor. The uh, black mages, level 50 armor. And, um, that is summoners, level 50 armor. I guess they don't want to be like, oh, by the way, you actually unlock, um... Oh, what is it called? The fucking thing that we're trying to get. Scholar. So I want to go to Scholar till we m move to Astrologian. Oh, Father, how may I assist you this day?
Okay, on the southern coast of the island of Vilbrin, under the shadow of the ancient cliffs worn by around the sunset of the Rotana Sea, uh, lies the Thalassa Crea Sea. Linzel means uh, its economy is driven primarily by shipping, but boasts lucrative shipbuilding, fishing, so they just as well. To maintain the safety of the maritime routes, it employs a formidable navy known as the Knights of the Barracuda, so by our bands run rampant in the nearby waters, reaving and pillaging. Yes. So I will have their last names be the same. I don't want to call it Zyphria. I want a McCoat name generator. Do I just want to do Xyphrium, but with a, um, apostrophe? <laughs> let's, let's do that. So I will talk as if I know things because I I know things. Hello, Brea. How's it going? So 
let's throw the book at him. Oi, all right, lass. You were moaning your sleep, throwing buckets of sides. Oh, and then the ship got your stomach churning, is it? Hmm. Uh, don't seem like sick sickness, and I look at you. That'll be the ether, then, I reckon. Some of more sins stuffed into the sea, and we ain't too far from Vilburn now, which is chock full of aetherites. Hey, in fact, though, you'll soon get used to it. However, one thing you'll have to excuse me is um, checking that, especially because this morning, um, uh, Kingdom Hearts, um, the Union C Cross uh, thing, had um, lost like the last like three minutes for some reason. So, yeah, might as well have been blue and seasickness. It's even around like a demented chocobo today. I reckon I might head out on deck and give myself a breath of fresh air. Numbers of means are still a fair way off, in case you were wondering. Seeing as you're awake and all, how about you keep me company till we get there? I'm young and don't care much for compensation, see. Now, which one's which? I think that's Alpha now. Anyway, well, uh, Brand's the name, and Pendulum's me trade. There's also an excuse to take a look at um, the revamped AR storyline. And you can compare that to the the main let's play thing. Also, uh, why are you? Oh, that's why. I don't even know how that got reset, but... Now uh, then, last of my unusual garments, I say you're one of the new adventures, am I warm? I know it. Uh, going where the wind blows, sick and fortune and glory. That's what I call living. Oh, you can avoid dying. I mean, you know, sick of the adventures, uh, and it's a risky business, easy especially. I first attracted you to it. Twin glory. Glory, hell, if you want to take on them tasks of the full eight and Avengers such as old one fame what coin can't buy. You have time you want to report to the Adventures Guild. You can forget everything you need to know about the adventure business in there. Some of though are more important things than fortune and glory, such as breathing, ain't no profit in being dead and that's a fact. Ah. Ships on the starboard bow. Pirate colors. Pirate colors. Pirates? Bloody hells. Hey, no sins. Get below. This world coming to pirates finding a ship flying lumens in colors. The best is either a boatload of balls or bugger all for brains. Hey, anyway, that's easy, friends. We made it out of cannon range, and no buccaneers bark will catch his flight temptress once the wind's in her sails. Well, that's too bleeding close. Glad one of us kept her head on her shoulders. I reckon I'd have lost mine otherwise. And by gave it the chase and some close support. Let's have a deck and have a look. See, shall we? And then I get get accosted. The only one I have not actually uh, done such scene even is a Gridanian start. I 
Now, technically, there could be a maiden argument that in order to... Well, here's the thing. I don't care that much about all the dialogue things because, you know, I don't want to make my characters assholes, so... Oh, uh, is your first trip to Limsalminza? No, actually. Oh, no. Oh, but I waited in some genius since you last said it. Ah, uh, Drain, Iterant, to praise you the current state of affairs. <clears throat> and pride itself on being a rosiest foremost naval power. And so long gone the place to rule by pirates, so thanks to the current animal civilized influence, the city state could almost pass a respectable nation. Yes, she was once a rum swilling buccaneer herself. <laughs> Christmas will be in so quick change, and with a town full of liberty, love, and ruffings, you can imagine how many serious and troublemakers she got to deal with, like in pirates who took a fancy to us just now. Eh, ah, we're bad enough, I heard the sigh again, or raiding the coast just bull as you please. And the sea dwelling beastmen locals call fishbacks, in case you didn't know. Alright, at long last, Lando. Behold, Limsel means a. Sorry, a nation blessed by the ocean bounty and beloved of Liminian goddess of navigation. On a windswept isle in the southwestern corner of the realm. Amidst the roiling waves of the Lotano Sea lies the maritime city state of Limsa Lominsa. To this haven for bandits and brigands, cutthroats and curs, seekers of both freedom and fortune, comes a lone adventurer. Lone yet not alone, for the hero's arrival has drawn the gaze of the nation's patron deity, Lim Lane. What realm-shaking fate has she descried in the churning waters of this mortal's future? And here's where we part ways, Les. Alright, Mike is learning me where's, and it's on the high road for me. Oh, yeah, this. Oh, I wait for saving thanks for me, Ars. Thanks for saving me, Ars, earlier. Earlier. Ah, you never did tell me your name, did you? Oh, there's an idea. I'm a sort of story person that you can brag about having met, and I'll consider a square. Through peril and hardship, discovery and triumph, may the navigator guide this brave soul on her life's voyage. You know, I was always curious. He swallows all. Um, for the for when they do stuff like that, where it's gender based, um, do they re-record the entire line, or do they just have that guy record him and then her, or his and her? God, it feels so long since I started this journey. What's nice is I'm going to be in Nava's network for a pretty long time, at least, so. Let's hope that I can get the Aetherite and the... Because part of the reason why it's on a different world is once I get all the Vetman rewards, I'm going to want to swap my membership back to the basic one. Because I don't see a particular reason why you would ever go for the normal one. Because the normal one, as far as I can tell, only lets you have multiple characters in the same world. Which I'd be much more interested in having, like, a fresh perspective. You know? Hey, you there. 
I mean, yeah, it's my district and I'm making my business and all the scum that washes up in it. Oh, an adventure fresh out of the boat, is it? Oh, then. Well, one of them is means it's fine. It's to set you on the right path. Hop to it last. I haven't got all day. Oh, it means a bustling city safe filled with scoundrels and brigands and rough cut diamond the rough cut diamond of the Sorrento Sea. Uh, which to use? Mouse and keyboard. Follow instructions. Oh, God. I'd lay it out. Please let me know that I can, uh... Okay, um, I am going to, we're going to exit game, and then I'm going to go, and in this, oh, okay, I didn't realize I was going to do that. Oh, uh, that's a good opportunity to end it, so enjoy the city, no introduce you.